there's a, there's a need for fall protection in almost every of our customers, regardless of size. In our industry, is anything above four feet requires some level of fall protection. Many customers think four feet isn't that high, and so they don't provide that adequate training and that adequate product offering. Usually when you think fall protection, you're thinking you're working at elevated heights. And in many cases, it's not. A lot of the incidences that you see are actually at ground level, in particular with, with slips, trips, and falls. Um, things like uneven floors, uh, missing tiles. So the evolution with mats is more around application. And there are really three types of uh, common mats in, in the industrial space. We have our modular mats, which are essentially 18 by 18 tiles that you can configure in many different configurations. You have your standard or your uh, basic anti-fatigue mat, which comes in many different thicknesses. In machine shops, many, many uh, employees use them at their workstation, prevents joint fatigue. And then we also have uh, our drainage mats, so in areas where you're dealing with any type of liquids. We carry some of the large brands, uh, including Wearwell, Ergo Advantage, and ProSafe. A lot of our mat manufacturers now offer uh, the four basic colors, so you could do your 5S and your 6S assessments. Uh, they're using matting to uh, designate certain work areas, danger areas. So it's becoming more of signage on the floor. The biggest improvement in harnesses is comfort. So uh, in the past, they tend to be a little bit bulkier. The uh, attachments are hard to put on. Uh, a lot of them were a heavy material, so it wasn't breathable. So the newer technologies, they're lighter, uh, they're easier to put on, people are comfortable wearing them, and that's the key to safety. If you're comfortable wearing it, you're gonna wear your safety equipment. When it comes to investing in safety, uh, it's one of those topics that everybody's gun-ho for. They wanna do it. But then you look at the dollar figure that you're investing in, sometimes you shy away at it. But what you really have to consider is that investment up front could save you a ton of headaches and a ton of uh, money and problems later on. One injury alone greatly outweighs in terms of cost versus investing in the proper PPE up front.